regular viewers will know that I'm building up a, a little budget air rifle to take on my Mighty Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter. So as part of that package, a little gun needs a bipod. So did I buy a Harris? No, I bought a £15 one off eBay. Game on, you're having it. Here we go. Now she comes. So, a little adapter here. Go onto a Picatinny rail if you've got that underneath your uh, your rifle, and give you a little lug to connect to. Little hex key. Here's the adapter. Actually, doesn't look bad. It's got nice weight to it, nice feel to it. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Let's see what the actual bipod's like. Okay. Better than I was expecting. Doesn't look too bad at all. Feels nice and rigid. Yep. Yeah. Legs are sprung loaded. Yep. All feels very positive. This is interesting. A little bit of heat shrink here. Mm, okay. This is the exact problem I had with a, a budget. Yeah, okay. I've had this problem with a budget bipod before, where these feel very loose. It's not really a problem. It's just a bit fiddly when you're trying to atta actually attach it. But, do you know what? It's made out of decent grade materials. Not bad. Not bad. Just for comparison. Real deal, Harris. This one is not a spring loaded extension. It's just the uh, normal manual type. And twist the knob to lock. Opposed to the digital type, this is the analog type instead of the digital. <laughs> Binary with the steps. Let's see, this bipod is a fair few years old. The springs are still very stiff on it. This one, brand new. Springs are not as stiff, but yeah, apart from this here, these. Just falling open. I have to say, it's worth the money. Yeah, it's worth the money. Right, for a bit of fun, stick it on the old air arms. Now this is what I was saying about with these being loose. Just makes it a little bit fiddly. Trying to make sure they actually go on. Better if they're sprung loaded like on the Harris, or they feel sprung loaded. But once we're on, we're on. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. There you go. Fit it up. A little bit of play like there always is on bipods, but yeah, not bad. Something I have noticed with this bipod. Go for full extension and okay so it did it this time just to prove me wrong what I've been having is you fully extend it you put pressure on it and then this leg or both collapses I found if you just take it a step back
you don't have that problem and it's nice and stable. Well, height wise. Other problem, this happens with all these type of step bipods. You do get quite a bit of rock. Uh, quite a bit of that is here in the leg on the union point here between the two parts. The rest of it up here, you can actually see it moving. Now, a big deal, a deal breaker, just a little bit annoying, but I have to admit, yep, yeah, nice and stable. Firing in the kitchen, chamber clear. Yeah, that was fine. There was no movement when I pulled the trigger. That felt fine. So, yeah, all right. First budget component. There we go.